Hello and welcome to the Workflow Academy. In this comprehensive Platform Academy video series, we'll delve into the transformative world of workflow automation, empowering you to build, monitor, and optimize efficient workflows with ease. Join us as we explore the core tools of ServiceNow's workflow automation suite to build flows and subflows, playbooks, and decision tables on the Now platform. My name is Lisa Hohenstein, and I work as an outbound product manager for the Now platform. My area of expertise is workflow automation, and I create enablement content, videos, articles, and blogs on the Now community. I have been with ServiceNow for five years, and I've been working with the Now platform since 2016. Before joining ServiceNow, I was a platform owner, admin, and developer at a customer. In today's session, I will introduce you to Workflow Studio, a new design interface for all our modern workflow automation products. Quick reminder, I may mention coming releases or product features that are still in development. All timelines and features may be subject to change, so please don't make any purchasing decisions based on anything I say today. When we talk about workflow automation, we always want to strive towards our common goal, which is to empower anyone to automate workflows even without code. In the past couple of years, we've introduced several purpose-built solutions to build workflows on the Now platform. What started with Flow Designer as a replacement for after and async business rules has been developed into a broad, powerful workflow automation suite that allows us to fully replace any legacy workflows for a variety of use cases service catalog fulfillment and approvals, scheduled automation, inbound email processing, decision management, cross-departmental playbooks, atomic automation with flow actions, and way more. With the Washington DC release, we're introducing Workflow Studio to bring all of these core platform capabilities into one builder. Applications distributed through store apps receive updates every three months, allowing us to innovate faster and you to benefit from the newest features more often. Workflow Studio is installed by default, and every family release updates it to the latest store release minus one. For example, when you upgrade to the Xanadu release, it'll include Workflow Studio with the latest Washington store release version. To get the benefits of the very latest version, make sure to check the application manager once per quarter to update your store apps. In today's demo, we'll do a quick walkthrough of Workflow Studio, how to navigate the landing page and showcase some of the benefits of this centralized builder experience. As mentioned earlier, Workflow Studio is an app that we distribute through the ServiceNow store. To update Workflow Studio and other store apps, open the application manager from the admin home or from the main menu under system definition, then plugins. We've recently reworked the installation and upgrade experience for plugins and store apps, so you can more easily and quickly identify apps you can install or upgrade on your instance. Filter for Workflow Studio and verify that the latest version is installed. Next, we'll open Workflow Studio from the Application Navigator. You can find it under Process Automation. When you open Workflow Studio for the first time, a guided tour is offered to familiarize you with the new landing page and the other tabs for operations and integrations. The home page is the starting point for all workflow creation. Here you can switch between multiple lists for different available workflow types, like playbooks, flows, subflows, actions, decision tables, and if the integration hub plugin is active, data stream actions. No matter which list you're currently looking at, the new button allows you to create any new workflow type from anywhere. In each list, you have access to list controls to delete items and refresh or filter down the results. On the right of the Workflow Studio homepage, we have three very useful sections. The first are the last three workflow items that you recently worked on to quickly resume your work. The second is an activity stream of items that all developers in your org have updated. The third section contains links to useful resources like docs, the Workflow Automation Center of Excellence, videos, the ServiceNow community, and the developer portal. This is also where you can restart the guided tour to refresh your memory. The second tab in Workflow Studio is your Operations Control Center. Here you'll find a list and reports for your recent playbook or flow executions, allowing you to keep an eye on workflow execution times and performance. The third tab, Integrations, will be familiar from Flow Designer. This view allows you to quickly create or change connections and credentials for your integrations. With the guided tour complete, let's return to the list of flows. We have three ways to filter the list of workflow types you're looking at. 
The first is to click on the three dots that show when hovering over a column header. Now you can filter down the list based on the setting. The second will be familiar from any other list on the Now platform. You can show matching or filter out on any value you see on the table. The third path is to open the filter list action in the top right. You'll find that the header search we performed earlier is here as well. Scroll all the way down to see the advanced view and adjust the conditions to suit your needs. Now let's create a new flow to understand how Workflow Studio connects the dots between our different workflow types. I'll quickly sit, set up a trigger, then choosing the make a decision logic, I can jump right into creating a new decision table without navigating to a different builder. Once I'm done, I can immediately choose my new decision table without the need to refresh my flow. Next, I've created a small subflow to call from my flow. When adding subflows or flow actions to a flow, I can quickly open them up in a new Workflow Studio tab and will never lose my path again as all of my workflow items are right where I'm working. The same, of course, applies to playbooks. When working in playbooks, the flows in action powering the activities will simply open in a new tab within Workflow Studio. This concludes today's short demo of Workflow Studio. We're very excited for the journey ahead of us and have several improvements already planned for the next couple of releases. But beyond what's already planned, we'd love to hear your thoughts on Workflow Studio. What works, what can be improved, what are your ideas to make this the best workflow development experience? Please share your feedback through any of the following channels. If you liked this session, please upvote this video. And whether you liked it or not, this survey is your chance to provide feedback or comments about this academy. I'm looking forward to reading your feedback. You can find the link in the video description or use the QR code shown on the screen. If you're interested in other topics beyond workflows, let me recommend my Colleagues Academy series. Each of them covers a different part of the Now platform. We have content about conversational interfaces, mobile apps, analytics, next experience, core platform, and of course, artificial intelligence. While on the topic of more content, if you prefer to read up on topics at your own pace, check out the Workflow Automation Center of Excellence on the Now community. I've collected resources and links and I'm regularly publishing new articles with best practices, FAQ, and guidance around flows, playbooks, and decision tables. Thank you for choosing to spend some time today to learn about workflow automation on the Now platform. Thank you for providing your feedback and questions to help us make these sessions better for you. Until next time, bye.